got up only 25 overs possible today rain it match but india have given themselves best chance possible to win this match Yes, except for that blemish when uh, Hanuma Vihari dropped that catch, uh, the opportunity that came off uh, Josh Hazelwood, that would have meant the Australian innings would have finished a little bit earlier and then they got down to putting together a, a final wicket stand that frustrated India and kept them in the field longer than they needed to. But other than that, the Indians were very good once again. As you said, only 25 odd overs possible on the day. But India kept in that attack mode, got the wickets through their seamers, once again hustled the Australian uh, lower order and got them out in a, uh, at a time from where they could once again impose themselves on the test match. Did not allow the Australians to get away. So yes, the, once again, the Indian bowlers showing why they've been the standout performers in this series. A word about Kuldeep Yadav. His performance must specially be pleasing. You know, he was waiting for his chance and when he got his chance, he has made an immediate impression. Yes, uh, Kuldeep Yadav's first go in the series. He's been the third choice spinner, been sitting out all these test matches. Wouldn't have played if Ashwin were available, you would imagine. And comes in and yet again puts in a performance that tells you why he is such a special bowler. We keep using this word mystery spinner about Kuldeep Yadav. But perhaps we've got to move on from that and just look at mm. him as a high quality wrist spinner. Because he does a lot of the wrist spin stuff very well and that is what stands out about him he's constantly evolving in his craft we saw that delivery that got rid of tim Payne completely bamboozled him the tail was having real trouble reading him he's had a difficult year in some ways in test cricket kuldeep yadav he was put into the playing 11 at lords where the conditions did not suit him and then hasn't played since but he's come in here and shown why exactly he is going to be such an important figure especially overseas for India because in home test matches you see Ashwin and Jadeja doing the job but in overseas conditions where uh, sometimes wickets are not as conducive to spin bowling Kuldeep can be a real factor and here he is five wicket haul in his first go in the series and put India in a really strong position and who knows he could be very important on that final day against this Australian lineup and India are aiming for 10 wickets. What do you think Gora will be India's tactics on the final day? Yes, the forecast isn't very good. It is for a lot of the same that we saw on day uh, four, which means that there will be some weather around, bad light and all the protocols around it will mean that uh, there will be constant pressure on India to try and be aggressive throughout the day. And that's exactly what they'll be. Try, they're so far ahead in the test match. Australia have no chance at all to launch any sort of bid for a comeback of any kind. A miracle out, is out of the window. So it's attack, attack and all out attack for India. It's one more day of effort from this stellar bowling lineup. I think the advantage India have is that they're a, a, it's a reasonably fresh bowling lineup. They've had a bit of a break because of all this rain around. Also, that two spinners are in operation. So a lot of overs can be bowled. Of course, it depends entirely on the weather and bad light. But I think India will still believe that if they get 60, 70 overs in the day, they can get 10 Australian wickets and win this 3-1.